Vizzy CADCAM, a world-class leader for the manufacturing industry. TST as well as Vizzy introduced a sneak peek at our Springback Prediction software coming later this year for the progress commands. We will gain the ability to perform Springback predictions on our parts. Using this prediction with Springback by finite analysis, we will be able to generate overcompensated surface data, reducing the amount of cuts needed to get to the finished part. We will also gain the ability to check wrinkle and cracking tendencies. This combined with the thickening analysis will give us a better understanding of problem areas. This will be available on Visi 2017 R2. When using the Visi blank command, you can calculate the springback prediction after you create the flat blank. Before running, however, it is good to check the forming limit diagram or the safety zone to make sure there's not going to be no cracks or areas of severe wrinkles. We don't see any areas of red showing areas that possibility of cracking, but we do get a blue spot over here for wrinkles. So if we check our thinning thickness diagram, we can just double check that we may shouldn't have any issues there. So this possibly, but it looks like this part should be good. Once you've confirmed that the part will form correctly, you can go over here and hit the spring back calculation button. By default, Vizzy generates the nominal mesh as a light blue color and the sprung mesh as a dark green. With this data, we can now use the spring back by finite analysis command to generate an overcompensated surface for our part. If we build our tooling off this overcompensated surface, our part should then spring back into the correct position when we form it. From here, we just need to select the meshes from the file, and then I will show the results after this finishes calculating. And as easy as that, we have our compensated data. That same process I just showed with VisiBlink can also be used on any flange. When using the flange unfolding command, we can also calculate the springback prediction or check the forming limit diagram for that flange. So starting off with the forming limit, we can see that on the flange, we might have some areas of problems, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, calculate the springback anyways. And just like before, the blue mesh is the nominal mesh and the green mesh is the sprung mesh and I can take both those mesh into the spring back by finite analysis to generate an overcompensated surface. The orange part is the overcompensated surface for the flange to form it correctly. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions please contact us by phone at 248-922-9293 or visit us at our website at www.tst-software.com. Thank you. Bye.